You wouldn't even have to imagine it because that's what they'd be doing, little crazy things. Having a pet that can speak to you, that's great. It'd be amazing, wouldn't it? There's not that they didn't try and take over the world and go rogue. So Sean from Fun Kids here with Hayley. Hello. How are you doing? You're right. Very well, thank you. How and are you? I'm good. I'm really good. good. And you play Christopher Robin's wife. I do. In the new Evelyn. Christopher Robin thing. That's right. Amazing stuff. Now, did you used to read um, Winnie the Pooh when you were younger? Yeah, I did. I had the books and I had the audio versions on cassette that I used to listen Strong. to at night time. But I would fast forward the bits about Woozles and half lumps because I'd be too scared. <laughs> um, and uh, I love the fact that he loved honey just as much as I did. And then I, of course, listened to or watched some of the cartoons. Um, so it was a big part of my, my childhood culture. So sort of how old were you when you were... When you were... Uh, I think I remember about, maybe about six, five, six, when I started to know about the world of Winnie the Pooh. And I if think. you went back to six-year-old Hayley and was like, in the future, you're going to be Christopher Robin's wife in the film. <laughs> like, would that just blow your mind? Or? I think, yeah, I, I, yeah, I suppose so. I mean, just uh, I, back then, I felt that they were real. So the fact that I could, <laughs> you know, to be told one day I'd, I'd grow up to marry Christopher Robin. I, I mean, that's huge, like, isn't it? That's great. As long as I have access to Pooh Bear, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, and Evelyn as well. She, she, because it's, it's sort of like his two worlds come together. It's like his real life world, and then this, and all the characters sort of merge together. And Evelyn's reaction, I think, when she, you know, she meets Pooh and all that, she's quite chilled about it all. Well, I think, um, yeah, I mean, you, you do lots of, when you're doing a film, you do lots of different takes with mm -hmm. lots of different kinds of reactions. And then the, then the tone of it, um, the director in the post-production mm -hmm. chooses how he wants you to react. You yeah. know? Um, but I think, yeah, I think she, she adapts pretty quickly. I think in that case, she's just relieved that he isn't mad. <laughs> that either yeah. she's also mad and therefore they're in it together or that this is reality. Because who would have thought that being married to Christopher Robin is <laughs> such the roller coaster? It really is, yeah, exactly. But um, I think it's it's very endearing that mm -hmm. she she understands he's going through a bit of a hard time, yeah. but um, just wants to help him through it. I think their relationship is a, ultimately a very loving one and, and started off very happy. And like in, say, how different would you reckon your your reaction in real life would be to Evelyn's if like your partner's stuffed animals all of a sudden turned oh, up? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I would be I would be really fascinated by it and a kind of obsessed. But I would also I would be like, well, it's clearly a drone or it's clearly some sort of yeah. Weird where's robot. the prank here? Yeah. Yeah, like. Exactly, because also, I mean, modern technology today, you can create the most extraordinary things. They'd be like robots that look like human beings. So, you know, I don't think I'd believe that it was magic. I think <laughs> I would believe that someone was up to no good. And that would be it now. Very, very soon you'll have like the little robot, little teddy bears <laughs> who would like, they'd be alive. And then you wouldn't even have to imagine it because that's what they'd be doing, little crazy like things. Having a pet that can speak to you. That's great. It'd be amazing, wouldn't it? As long as they it? didn't try and take over the world and go rogue. And if yeah. you, did you, did you have like a little posse of stuffed animals when you were younger? I had well? stuffed animals, but I, I had Sylvain families and trolls and lots of different types of dolls. I had cats that I would dress up in my doll's mm -hmm. outfits. i strong. Uh, strong. And I would project a lot of like human qualities onto them and I would hope that all my animals and all my toys would come alive every time I left was, the room. Was, was there someone with like a prominent personality, a particularly sassy personality in the... Uh, I had a Cabbage Patch Kid that had like a, a ginger... A sassy Cabbage Patch Kid. Had nice. a ginger afro and a dummy and a, and a nappy and she was also in in yellow corduroy dungarees. <laughs> Good. Pretty cool, huh? So in, in, in moments of like, you know, when you're a little bit stressed out, that's who would come to life and just be like, look, Hayley, it's all yeah, fine. Yeah, it's all right, it's all right. She had this kind of sassy afro kind of vibe, really curly hair, cool, early hair. So she was like, yeah, she was a cool one. There we bunch. go, ginger afro cabbage patch kid. <laughs> yeah. That's what we all need. Hey, yeah. thank you so much for chatting to us. Thank you. And we are all very excited to go and check out Chris Robin. Thank you. <laughs>